Special night on Wednesday at the SOEC ahead of the V's game against the Salmon Arm Silverbacks as the V's inducted two new members into the Ring of Honor in Duncan Keith and former broadcaster Al Formo as they became the 16th and 17 members to join the 15 others high above the SOEC Raptors. Great night and congrats to those two gentlemen. But Salmon Arm was looking to spoil the party on Wednesday early on. CJ Foley from long distance opened up the scoring. That coming eight minutes into the first period on a point shot from the right wing. Might have been tipped in front by Captain Nathan Mackey, but it goes to Foley. Salmon Arm striking first. You can see the reverse angle here from behind the net. That well-placed shot from the line going over the glove side of DePasquo. And for the the second straight game, the Vs surrender the game's first goal. They had some chances. Matt Tovel, though, said no to Thomas Pichette with a glove on the doorstep. And a point shot coming there. That's created a big rebound, but Sunia couldn't bang it in after the initial shot by Mason Pullman. They were buzzing. The Vs kept getting at Matt Tovel in that first period. They threw 16 shots on it, but couldn't capitalize. And then on a power play, Salmon Arm capitalizes. It's Jaden Greer looking like Dad Mike in front of the net, like his days in the NHL as he pounds it in on the doorstep after a bit of a short scramble got it through the legs of DePasquo for Jaden Greer that was goal number four he made it two nothing that coming late at 16 13 he squeaks it just through the wickets of DePasquo and behind your Sevich's stick that made it 2 nothing. Salmon Arm. They had a couple of chances to go up 3 nothing, but DePasquo, big stop there on Varconi with the pad. And then Idar Suniev rings it off the crossbar late in the first period. To the second, the V's power play takes over. It's Josh Nadeau at that back post from Idar Suniev who threads the needle nicely. That made it 2-1, 234 into the second. Great look there by Suniev from the right wing circle. You see Josh creep into the back post. That's where he likes to camp out. And he knocks that in on the far post past the goalie. No chance for Tovel. That made it 2-1, two and a half minutes in. But Salmon Arm, they kept coming. They got a power play again. And again, they score. Two for two at this point in the man advantage. It's Ethan Ulrich jamming it in from inside the crease. That coming just past the 12-minute mark to put the Silverbacks back up by two. It's 3-1. You can watch the nice screen here by Nathan Mackey taking the eyes away to Pasquale. He makes the kick save off Mackey, but cleaning up the garbage there is Ulrich to make it a 3-1 lead. These are trying to get something going after that goal. Almost a bank job from behind the net there. And then Idar Sunia during a 5-on-3 just missed, but they stay with it. And it's Bradley Nadeau. This is a big sequence. His first to two at the end of the second period at 16:41. This is 22nd. It makes it a 3-2 game as he knuckles in that one timer. A bit of a off-balance shot. As soon as you have just missed seconds earlier, you can see here on the replay for behind the net and a changeup, if you will, from Bradley makes it a 3-2 game. And then that power play continues. Now a five-on-four. They continue to whack away at the puck and try to solve Tovel, who made a big stop there off Newendijk. But just too many off. Options. Too many weapons on this power play. And look at that. Bradley Nadeau, just like he did Saturday against PG, goes back in that left circle, lets it rip on the blocker side. No chance for Tolville. Second of the period at 18.52. That tied at 3-3. Another power play goal for Penticton. That's their third power play goal of the second period. As the V's have come all the way back to tie to that point. Carry over to the third period. V's back on the man advantage. You know what that means. Hydar Sudiev. What a pass from Bradley's back door. No look pass to Sudiev on the right side. Another look at it here. This goal coming at 625 on the power play. Sudiev's first at two in that period. His 15th of the year. And one more look here. Bradley loading up shot. No look pass. And that is just elementary at that point for Sunyev to knock it into the open net. That made it 4-3 Penticton on the suing shift. Luca DePasquo, more like Luca DePasqu, wow. Look at that glove save. Robbing CJ Foley of a tying goal. That kept it 4-3 and he was at it again. Big pad save here off Nathan Mackey, not once but twice. And then the V's eventually finish things off. Great alley-oop pass from Thomas Pachette to send Suniev in on the breakaway. And look at that finish. You just can't teach that, folks. That with five minutes to go. Idar Suniev's fifth point of the game. Forehand to the back of the net. Upstairs over Toville. 
That made it 5-3 Penticton. One more look. Pichette, the home run pass from inside his own end. Suniev gets behind Foley and roofs it over Tolville on the stick side. That made it 5-3 Penticton. As the Bees have made it 21 straight wins. Come from behind fashion. Coming back for two goals down to win 5-3 in front of 2,852 fans on a Wednesday night at the SOEC to keep that perfect record intact. All in front of Duncan Keith and Al Formo. What a great night. The highlights brought to you by the Penticton Herald.